Good morning, it's Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and we have a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype to go over with you all today. Uh, Step into the forest with Rika. It's Tri Brigade 2.0. At least that's what the article says. It says, Step into the forest with Rika. If Tri Brigade was good, why didn't they make Tri Brigade 2.0? And I guess Rika can be read as Budding Calamity. Which is really interesting. So I guess this is like a Calamity archetype? I'm not really sure. Uh, I've read like the types of monsters. It looks like it's based around plants, insects, and reptiles. So I guess the archetype is Tri-Brigade. But instead of Beast, Beast, Warrior, and Wing Beast, it's reptiles, plants, and insects. Which is really, really cool. I think all three of those typings are very underrated so and this is just generic support as an archetype for all three of those typings i'm really excited so let's actually get straight into this so first things first we have uh raka uh no mark bola i am horrible at pronouncing this it's an earth plant monster level one hey level one earth plant if it's any good we can play it in our earth deck so let's see uh, go and spend someone in this card, but it's first effect of this card once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card once per turn. A discard is normal or special summon. Add up to two of your Raka cards with different names that are banished and or in de your deck to your hand, except Raka no McFall. Van banish one Raka card from your hand. Also, spell summon monsters. For the rest of the turn, except insects, plants, and reptiles. So this card literally says, on play, add two, banish one. That is absolutely insane. Simple fact, this card literally just says, hey, I'm a plus one on summon. It's really, really good. And you can summon this card by sending one insect, plant, or reptile from your hand to grave. That is very, very powerful. Now, it is a zero attack, zero defense monster. But, but there's a lot of ways to cheat this card out. Not to mention, you can always just normal summon it, and that's just pretty good. Uh, next, we have uh, Raka no Yaza Korakari, Kura Korakomori, uh, the light insect level 3, uh, 1500 attack, 0 defense. You can only special summon this card with its first effect once a turn. You can spe uh, special summon this card from your hand by placing one of your banished insects, plants, or reptile monsters. To the bottom of your deck, so that's really easy for a plant, uh, insect contender, because a lot of the insect monsters want to banish themselves. For example, a uh, resident insect and that whole package, they like to banish themselves, so that's actually really, really good there. Um, and this card is sent to Graveyard for a Link Summon of a Rika Monster, or Raka Monster. I'm really trying to pronounce this guy correctly. You would turn 104 Insect, Plant, or Reptile Monster into Graveyard. Special summon in defense edition. Now notice its effects are not negated. So this card basically says, hey, link me off into whatever this new Raka archetype is. Then reborn a plant, insect, or reptile monster from your graveyard in defense edition. No effects negated. That's a really good extender. Uh, now we have Raka no Yora Torek. Uh, dark reptile level 4. Zero attack, 2300 defense. Uh, all these monsters don't really have any attack. Like the uh, insect with a sword over here, his biggest attack is 1500. But uh, this reptile has zero attack, and this plant has zero attack, which is what I noticed. Uh, you can spend some of this card from your hand uh, by banishing one insect, plant, or reptile from your graveyard. So that's pretty good. It just says, hey, have one in grave. This guy has a free spell summon, plus they're all low levels, 4, 3, and 1, so you can just always normal summon if you have to. Uh, you could discard one insect, plant, or reptile monster, target one monster your opponent controls, except insect, plant, or reptile monster, return it to the hand. So, I will say I think this is the weakest out of the three main deck monsters. Uh, the level 1 literally searches to banish this one. Uh, the level 3 is a reborn for any level 4 or lower insect, plant, or reptile from Grave. Plus, it's a free extender and it reshuffles back your banished cards. This one is just an extender that requires you to discard a card to then bounce 
a monster punk controls, which is pretty powerful. It's basically Brio for like one effect, but Bean has zero attack and 2300 defense. I don't know if that's good enough, but hey, it's still an extender, so why not? Uh, it's also known as the Armored Lizard, also known as Armored Stone Dragon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we have a new Link monster, Link 2, Raka no Mushra Durya. Uh, it's a Fire Plant Link 2, 1600 attack, uh, arrows are pointing uh, down, left and right. Um, that's a pretty good Link arrows. It's basically... Uh, Heavy foe metal, um, heavy metal foes electromite arrows high points down, and I'm not gonna lie, this artwork is insane. I guess this is the like adult form of the uh, level one, because it's a plant and the plant looks like horrifying zombie dude. Like look at that, and, like he's all roots and skeleton. That's actually kind of insane. That artwork is insane. Uh, this monster has 1600 attack. Uh, two monsters, including an insect, plant, or reptile monster. So it's generic to an extent. You do have to play an insect, plant, or reptile. Uh, you can only use the first and second render to discard once a turn. Also, you can't specify monsters a turn. You activate them, except insects, plants, and reptiles. So this deck really wants to lock you into reptiles, plants, or insects. So I guess the idea is that, hey, this is going to be some really generic good support for insects, plants, and reptiles. But we don't want you shoving this into, like, some sprite deck like Tri Brigade was. So, you gotta keep it within these three typings. Like, you're either an insect deck, you're either a plant deck, or you're even a reptile deck. Which I actually respect. Like, those are three strong typings in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I feel like all three of them need generic support. And it looks like that's what this is gonna be. And I feel like if this is just too generic... You just be putting it into other typings, and who cares about the plant, insect, or reptile aspects? Because it's like, oh, we'll just play this in like a dragon build, and a dragon build does it better. Now, nah, now nah, I like that you have to play it within your respective types. Um, it's two effects for this link monster are you can target one Raka monster in your graveyard, spell something in defense position. So I guess it reborns one of the main deck monsters because you can't spell something in links in defense position. Uh, it discards in your graveyard. Target one insect, plant, or reptile monster control. Place it on the bottom of the deck if you do spell summit. So it's a free level 2 extender. So I guess the idea is that you link it to this. This guy reboards whatever material was used to make him. And then you immediately go into a link 3. Which is really, really cool. Uh, next we have Warrior Skeleton. Oh no, actually that's what he is. He's, he's the Warrior Skeleton. That's what Raka no Mushadora is. Warrior Skeleton. Cool. Uh, now we have Raka no Oki Morshui, which I guess in Japanese means uh, something about beetle, a uh, young horn beetle. Uh, this guy looks really cool. He's a wind insect link three, uh, two plus monsters, including an insect, plant, or reptile. So I guess the link one helps you climb into link three. You can only use its first two effects once per turn. You can banish two insect, plants, or reptile monsters from your graveyard. Add one Raka Trap from your deck to hand. I guess there's a Raka Trap in his archetype. And if this card in your graveyard could target one insect, plant, or reptile monster control, place it in the bottom of the deck. And if you do spell some of this card, you can't spell some of the rest of the turn except insects, plants, or reptile monsters. So that's actually really insane. Uh, this card is a generic Link 3 as long as you're playing an insect, plant, or reptile archetype. And it searches your trap card. Like, you don't have to play anything else in this archetype. You could just play this Link 3. And as long as your deck can climb into it. You can search whatever this trap card is. And if it's good enough, it's just another interruption against your opponent. Which is really, really good. So, if the rest of this archetype falls apart, you just say this Link 3 and the trap card is all you need. Uh, we don't know what the trap card is yet, but we'll just have to see. Uh, now we have a Link 4 Fire Reptile. Raka no Kujimaru, uh, Kujimar, uh, Kujigami, uh, Chain Snake Serpent. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, all these artworks are insane. I love it. I love the plant, I love the, in, uh, the, uh, insect, and I love this now reptile girl. This, this is some really cool badass artwork. So this is the 2900 Link 4. Uh, its arrows are Appaloosa arrows, but also one to the, 
uh, right. So I'm guessing this card has the same reborn effect where I guess all the links have the ability to, if this card's engraved, target an insect, plant, or reptile you control, place it on the bottom neck of you, you spell summon it, which is really, really good. So basically it says, hey, you keep link climbing with these link monsters, and then as long as you have generic shit on the field, you can just keep reborning them from grave. And since they're like winds, fires, and, uh, uh, yeah, winds, fires, uh, your opponent can't bis steal any of these guys. Like, yes, they could bis steal two of the main deck dudes. Like, they could bis steal the, uh, rock, uh, insect, and they can, uh, bis steal the rock, uh, what's it called? Armored lizard. But all of these link monsters, they cannot bis steal them, meaning, they're basically free gain unless they're playing like DD Crow or uh, what's it called the what's the card that like negates us? Uh, what's it called one of the hand traps? Uh, Moon Sister. I forget what it's came. No one's played it in a while. It's the one that like stops graveyard effects. Unless they're playing one of those, you can just reborn these guys from grave, which is really really good. Uh, its first effect is uh, if your opponent activates a monster effect. You can make both players unable to activate monster effects from hand for the rest of the turn. That's a interesting floodgate. So basically it says, hey, if you're going against a deck like, let's say, Tri Brigade, that requires shit to be activated in hand, uh, or more, this is more like, uh, let's say, let's say, Drytron, you know, all their monsters activate in hand, or Virtual World. Uh, this guy basically says, hey, your opponent activates one of those effects, cool. Now, a neighbor player can activate monster effects in a hand for the rest of the turn. It also stops hand traps, which is really, really good. My only issue is that it's a link four. Like, if this is on the link one effect, like if they gave this card a deck in link one, and a link one said, hey, your opponent can't activate monster effects for the rest of the turn from the hand, then this is actually a really, really powerful link one extender. Um, I guess the idea is that if your opponent had Nibiru and he got to this point, uh, I guess you're basically saying, hey, you can't activate Nibiru anymore. But I think this card has to be on the field and then your opponent has to have another monster effect. So I'm not really sure. So I don't know if this card's any good. Um, uh, it is a Link 4 2900 beat stick for reptiles. I just don't know if it's any good. Uh, finally, we have a Link 5 monster, Raka no... Diolora, it's a earth insect. I'm not gonna lie, this guy literally looks like Master Chief if he was a bug. This is Master Chief bug. He has the same colors and everything. He even has the yellow eyes. Um, two plus insect, plant, or reptile monsters. Link five, 2500 attack. Appaloosa arrows plus an arrow left and right. Uh, if a monster is supposed to summon from your opponent's deck or extra deck, Destroy two cards on the field, so I guess that's the payoff. If this card's in your graveyard, target one inset, plant, or reptile monster you control. Place it at the bottom of the deck if you do spell summon this card. Also, you're locked in the rest of the turn for insects, plants, and reptiles. So this card is your win condition, basically. It basically says, hey, your opponent summoned a monster for the extra deck below two cards. And that's pretty good. That is actually really insane. Now, I do hate that it's on a link five, but... It is very recursive once it's engraved because it keeps bringing it back. So I like it. I like this archetype. I feel like it has potential with new plant archetypes, new reptile archetypes, and new insect archetypes. Maybe this is the win condition insect decks have been waiting for. Because I do think Bee Trooper is a really, really strong deck. And that whole deck's gimmick is link climbing. Maybe this is their new boss monster. Maybe that's their whole gimmick now. They're going to climb into this guy. And I'll be like, okay, we're good now. You can't stop us. Uh, next, we have Raka Yo Kuragui. Uh, it's a continuous spell. All insects, plants, and reptile monster control gain 300 attack. Also, all other face of monsters lose 300 attack. So that's basically a 600 attack boost. Because your main boss monster, this Link 5 guy, will become a... 3600 while well, every monster you control will be lowered by 300 so baron will be like a 27 and your link monster will be a 36 which is pretty good uh you can only activate the other two effects once per turn you either get to add a rock of monster from your deck to hand then discard a card or spell some of one rock of monster that is banished or in your hand 
or graveyard in defense position. So this card I can already see is a must of three of. The continuous spell basically says, hey, not only is it a debuff to all attacks, but it's also just a rota every turn. Or it's just a special summon one from hand. Or grave every turn. Now it does say defense position so you can't bring back the Lynx. But the Lynx already have the ability to bring themselves back by tributing a monster. So honestly, this is pretty insane. And then finally we have Raka Demine Kuramori. It's the trap card with the uh, with the Mantis on it. Uh, this is, says... You know, use the first and second of this card once a turn. Target cards up to the opponent controls, up to the number of insects, plants, and reptile like monsters you control with different types. Destroy them. So this card basically says, hey, if you control an insect type, plant, and reptile, which is all three types, you get to blow up three cards, which is pretty good. And then the link two blows up two cards. So that's a, that blows up five cards. Um, if a face up insect, plant, or reptile monster control is destroyed by battle, while this card's in your graveyard, banish this card. Then target one of your opponent's monsters and destroy it. So, it doesn't say banish this card instead. It just says banish this card and destroy it. So, I guess it's like, your monsters will be cleared. But as long as you have another body, which the continuous spell will always give you. You can always just tribute it to summon out the big guys from Grave anyway. So, yeah, this archetype has potential. I like it. it. It seems like it's basically, hey, we're a link climb deck that allows us to... Basically set up a trap card in a link two that and a link four. So I guess the idea is that we have a, a way to lock our opponent from hand. We have the ability to blow up at least five cards on the field. And we have recursion if they clear a board because we just keep reborning them from grave. I think these cards are actually really insane. And I can't wait to test them out in Beat Trooper. Um, hope you all enjoy. I bet also Rika and all the other plant decks are also rejoicing right now. But besides that, I, I'm more of an insect player. So go insects. Go crawler mains. But uh, that's all I got. Hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.